our next topic is the classification of conducting materials we can classify conducting materials into two categories first low resistivity materials or higher conductivity materials high resistivity materials or lower conducting materials first we will discuss low resistivity materials those materials which have the low value of resistivity for example copper and aluminium which are commercially accepted low resistivity materials now we have the additional properties of these low resistivity materials first property is low resistance temperature coefficient it means that the change of resistance with the change in temperature should be low why it is necessary to avoid the variation on resistance which is responsible for the variation on voltage drop and power loss in order to keep these power loss low in long transmission and distribution lines in the hot summer the conducting material should have low resistance temperature coefficient second property is resistance to corrosion the conducting materials should be such that it is not easily corroded when used without insulation in outdoor atmosphere they must show the resistance to the corrosion third property is sufficient mechanical strength low resistivity materials must have a high mechanical strength as the line conductors used for transmission and distribution of electric power should have high mechanical strength therefore windings used on motors generators and transformers should have a sufficient mechanical strength fourth property is the ductility first we will discuss what is the ductility the process by which a metal can be drawn into thin wires is called ductility so for different size and shape of conductors requirement for different applications conducting material should be ductile enough to enable it to be drawn into different sizes and shapes fourth is the solderability and contact resistance conducting materials are required to be joined very often so the joint should offer minimum contact resistance so solderability is also considered as a required property so last one is the density low resistivity materials must possess a low density so that the actual weight of the system where they are used should be less